Jesse Deputy with Deputy Tribe. It's Haven. So my oldest four kids are going on a camping trip with our church and I went to Costco and I was pretty amazed at the products that I found um, that are allergen friendly, paleo, all that kind of stuff. So I really want to show you guys what I got. Let's go take a look. Chicken tenderloins. Yeah, the steaks are for tonight. All right, so today's packing day, and first we are going to tackle breakfast. So they're going to be gone Friday morning, which will be in the car, so that'll be snacky stuff. They'll be gone Saturday morning and Sunday morning. And I know the other kids are doing instant oatmeal packets with fruit cups and applesauce. Um, so I will show you what my plan is for them. So first of all, I soaked some sprouted, they were already sprouted organic oats. I soaked them overnight with a little bit of whey and made this porridge this morning for my family. Um, we have coconut oil, molasses, maple syrup, apples, organic raisins, organic sprouted seeds, and bananas. So they're just gonna kinda eat that for breakfast. I have a little leftover that I'm gonna put in a baking sheet, um, and then we'll rebake it tomorrow, and whatever toppings are left over will go on the top of the bake, so that'll be a quick breakfast for me tomorrow. But my plan is to take these Ziploc bags and the sprouted oats, and I might pulse them in the food processor a couple times to make them more instant oats. Um, I'm gonna add some collagen for extra protein and then they won't be drinking bone broth all weekend. So I would like them to have that extra collagen. Um, organic raisins, a little bit of sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds, um, some dehydrated apples we dried. And this is actually just powderized maple sugar, maple syrup that's been powderized. So, so I need to make, there's four kids, so I need to make eight of these for them to have for breakfast two mornings. And then I'll put a big scoop of coconut oil um, in there and make sure the coconut oil is kind of covered in the oats so that when they dump it into a bowl, it doesn't stick to the inside of the bag. So I will get started with that. So here I just took the sprouted oats and I'm just gonna pulse them a few times. This just makes them easier and faster to cook. That just makes them a little bit easier to be instant oats with. Okay, so to add the coconut oil to these to-go packs, I'm basically opening them up, creating a little divot on the inside, putting a scoop of coconut oil, it's really hard with one hand, in the divot and then covering it up with oats. So then it's not going to stick to the sides and when they dump it out, it will fall into the bowl. So that is what is going on there. Okay, so then we're just going to put a little bit of raisins. And a little bit of apples. And we dehydrated these apples ourselves, so they're just apples. And then I'm gonna put a scoop of collagen. And a scoop of maple sugar. And then you can also add cinnamon, um, other things that you want. I'm gonna add a little bit of these pumpkin seeds. 
And that is pretty much it. You can add shredded coconut, you could add blueberries, you could add different types of fruits. Um, I'm just gonna stick with this mix. And those will be their instant breakfast packets. packets that I walked you through. So I have enough for two mornings. They'll eat just lar bars, bananas, and fruit and stuff in the car tomorrow morning on their way to the campsite. So this will be breakfast for Saturday and Sunday morning. Then for lunches, here's Friday lunch. I have it all packed up. Um, they have an apple. They have some trail mix. They have a lar bar. They have organic carrots with organic guacamole. And then they have two chicken tenderloins that I grilled up with some seasoning. And then dinner will be provided for them, um, safe food that they are able to eat. Here's Saturday lunch. They're gonna be on a canoe all day and all the kids just have snacky food with them. So for this day, I packed olives, um, more trail mix. Um, let's see, what else did I pack? So this, uh, we made two separate trail mixes. One was a strawberry, banana, blueberry mix with um, almonds and sunflower seeds that were sprouted and fermented. And then one was a kiwi, banana, pineapple one that we made. And we dehydrated all this fruit and sprouted the nuts and things. So um, they'll have three beef sticks, an apple, a lar bar, and then I had some of these natural Skippy's peanut butters left over. So they're not the healthiest thing, but it'll provide them with a little bit extra um, protein and fat while they're on the canoe. And then for their ride home on Sunday, it's basically the same thing they had Friday, but with a different type of trail mix. Larbar, apple, carrots, avocado, and two pieces of chicken. So those are their lunches and their breakfast covered. Now when all the kids do s'mores at night, um, my kids have these really healthy paleo, um, kind of like cookie dough Oreo cookies. They're made from almond flour, coconut oil. Oh my, there's a fruit fly. We have, we had a bad batch of bananas that came in the house, so. So they each have enough for a cookie every night for the three nights that they're gone. Um, so that'll be kind of a treat. And then the other kind of treat thingies that I have is this GAPS approved banana bread that I froze and is now thawing out. It's my soaked and fermented um, almonds that I blended up into a paste with coconut oil, added a banana and baked it into bread. And then just, it has a lot of coconut oil in it already, but here's some coconut oil that they can spread on top of that. And then just as a backup, um, they each get one pack of some organic dates that they can bring along. So that is kind of the breakdown of their meals. So I hope that uh, gives you guys some inspiration and um, you don't always have to go to fruit snack sandwiches and things like that. You can really make these highly nutritious and delicious and exciting for your kids to eat. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.